are sick of seeing me in these tank tops but i live in them you guys i'm telling you i probably have like 10 of them i love them so today is saturday and i'm getting ready to go well first i have to go pick up a dress for my mom i had to pull out a gray hair <laughs> and then i'm going to my nephew's first birthday party and i'm so excited Oh, I cannot believe he is one. Today is his actual birthday. And I have known him since he was born. Oh, time goes by so quickly. Okay, so yeah, he's having a party at Jimboree. And it's so funny because I used to actually go to Jimboree when I was a kid. And now my nephew's having his party there. Um, Muffin, where's your toy? Play with your toy. And it's another rainy, dreary, ugly day in Atlanta. I really wish the sun would be out, but. Chloe was awesome this week. Like besides, yes, you were amazing. Besides the little mishap she had earlier in the week, she had a fabulous week. Chloe has been getting T-R-E-A-T-S every day. And that usually doesn't happen in Miss Grace's life. She can go a week without a T-R-E-A-T. I feel like hand claps for Chloe. Yes, Muffin, hand claps for you. I don't know if Jesus had a talk with you or what, but whatever happened needs to continue. Okay, so I'm not going to put on any eyeshadow. I tend to not really wear eyeshadow day to day. I just feel like it's such a hassle, so. Yeah, today's not going to be any different. I'm not going to wear eyeshadow. And I feel like you can have a really, really nice beat face without wearing eyeshadow and still look. And then it's like, what am I wearing eyeshadow to go to a one-year-old's birthday party? Like, it's not about me. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that. Has anyone else realized that when you're like doing get ready with me, it takes you 10 times as long to do your makeup or maybe that's just me what are you eating you you know that's nasty there was a dead like fly or something on the floor and she ate it you're not getting any kisses nothing just telling you that I'm just telling you that right now since you want to be nasty okay so for foundation I'm using my long comb I am going to spot conceal though first because I find that now that I'm not using my NARS um, all day luminous, like other foundations just, they don't give me the coverage that I need. So my Lancome Todd Eagle Ultra. And I use the color 450 Neutral. Sometimes I feel like my undertone though is neutral and sometimes I feel like it's warm. Like, uh, I don't know. Maybe it changes depending on how deep of a tan I have. But it, this foundation definitely matches. It's just sometimes I feel like the undertone is off. But I love this foundation because it looks super, super skin-like and natural. My favorite foundation is my NARS All Day Luminous, but I ran out of that. Chloe, baby, you can't tangle yourself up in the in the shade cords. Um, when I ran out of my NARS All Day Luminous, I purchased this because I thought it was a little darker, but it wasn't. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, I do have a darker drugstore foundation that I can use if I do need to deepen it up. But usually, once I put on my bronzer. I'm good to go. So I hope you guys are off to a good Sunday when you see this. Um, hey, Chloe, I need you to relax. Don't growl at me. 
Next, I'm going to do my concealer. I'm using my Too Faced um, Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. Uh, I like this for going out. It's a little too bright for like something every day. So um, when I went to work, I would use my NARS Creamy Concealer in Caramel. This is in the color Sand. Um, and you can find all these products at Sephora. Yeah, I like to use something a little brighter for the weekend. Or if I go out and I use something a little more in my skin tone for every day. Next, I'm going to use my Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And this looks more natural in my mirror. Um, you guys are right in front of a, a window, so it's going to appear a tad bit brighter. Using my Kat Von D number 20 brush, which is my favorite for um, all over powder. And I'm just gonna set my entire face. I remember when I didn't always set my concealer and foundation. I think I started doing that when I was working at Sephora. Sephora really allowed me to grow in terms of makeup application. I will say that. I don't miss working there though. <laughs> I feel like um, everything that I did at Sephora except, well, I kind of sell on my channel too. Everything that I did at Sephora, I'm doing now in the comfort of my home. I do product reviews, education, that in fact turns into selling because a lot of you guys tell me that you go out and try the things that I recommend. So I love it. I love having my YouTube channel, but you guys already know that. Okay, now we're doing mascara. This is my favorite currently, the Lancome Monster Big. It is just everything. Actually, no, I'm gonna put on bronzer first. My Girl Lana Terracotta Bronzer in 05. I use this with my MAC 136 brush. Tapered fluffy brush. And bronzer is an integral part of my makeup application because it gives my face dimension. <laughs> gives me a little tan. I am obsessed with bronzer. <laughs> But if you guys watch my beauty videos, you probably already know. I always hit my neck with some bronzer just to help melt everything together. I do my chin and then I add more to my cheeks. I love a bronze face, honey. Woo. Okay, now let's do our mascara. Still good on time. Luckily, I picked out my outfit last night. I'm learning. <laughs> because what happens is I have in my mind what I want to wear sometimes and then when I try it on it just doesn't look like the look that I want to give so yeah I'm gonna have to start picking out my outfits the night before and it gives me time to clean up because every time I pick out an outfit I throw all the clothes around my room <laughs> I, I'm not that person that can get ready and keep a clean room. Like if you see my vanity right now, it's a hot mess. I try to clear it off once a week, but even that's not enough. I just feel like these are problems that everyone has, right? Like it can't, it can't just be me. I just hope I don't get any of those questions today. Like, which one is your husband? Which one is your child? When are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have kids? <laughs> uh, I legit hate those questions. Like I understand that for a lot of people, that's just a way of like breaking the ice. But I mean, there are so many other things to talk about. If you don't see me talking to a kid, like he or she is my child, I probably don't have any. <laughs> So it's always awkward. I mean, they don't make it awkward for me, but it's always awkward for me. Because even though they don't make me feel out of place, sometimes I just feel out of place. Like, 
everyone's here with their husbands. And I'm just sitting here like, hey guys. <laughs> uh, like we all went on a cabin trip one year. And I just felt so out of place. I mean, I still had a great time, but it's just, it's a little awkward when you're the only single one. I mean, there were other people there that were single, but largely everyone was married. But this is the only friend group I have that um, <clears throat> most everybody is married with kids. Like most of my other friends, they are not married with children. So this is the fragrance I'm gonna wear today. Giorgio Armani C Passion. I'm telling you guys, if you don't have that fragrance, you might need to go try it. I wanna do a red lip today. So I'm gonna do this Makeup Forever number 42. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with exception of, ooh, you guys are moving. Sorry. With exception of blush. I must have makeup. Here we go. <laughs> you guys remember when I vlogged um, for the meetup? I never took this makeup out. I was wondering where you guys were. So yeah, I'm gonna wear, Chloe, get out of all my stuff. This is Sweetest Cocoa. I've never put a dent in a blush as fast as I have with this one. And I'm not gonna Put on any highlighter. I don't want to draw too much attention to myself because this is not my party <laughs> or my child. And it's not like there are going to be lots of single eligible bachelors there. I don't even know if there will be any. So no need for me to do the most. So this is my quick everyday face. This is, oh, I need another coat of mascara. This is literally the makeup Chloe, none of that stuff is for you, sweetie. This is the makeup that I do whenever I go out. If I don't do eyeshadow, I have really gotten away from applying eyeshadow. Um, I think just as I get older, I'm just not into it as much. But that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of all these palettes. <laughs> you have to keep it for a special occasion. Okay, I'm ready. So I have on this blue green sweater it has a little hole in it <laughs> didn't realize that um the jeans that i showed in my haul and the guest booties that you guys saw in the outfit of the day uh oh what's going on over here the scarf that I stole from my mother, which is so comfy by the way. I also have on my Louis Vuitton Nano Monogram bracelet. Ooh, this scarf is hot. Oh, okay. So I'll see you guys in the car. Oh, Chloe, you haven't seen the people today. Say hi, come here. Mama's gonna miss you. I'm gonna go see Jules for his birthday. Yeah, remember when he signed his card? It's his birthday, Muffin. He's the one year old today. Can you believe it? You've known him for a year. I just realized that I was supposed to try my Fenty foundation today, but it was in my car. Darn it. Okay, well, I'm going out tomorrow, so. I hate when you can see my stuff in the back. So I'm going out tomorrow, so I'm gonna bring it in tonight and I will use it tomorrow. Darn it, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> so I got color 370 because the um, the woman at Sephora said that 360 oxidizes and might turn gray. And they looked really similar, but they had um, different undertones. But I'd rather be a little darker and warm than too neutral and turn gray. Because that's never cute. So I will use that tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Picked up mom's dress. The hanger broke <laughs> because it's so heavy. And I don't know how to put it in the car so that it doesn't get messed up. So, what time is it? It's 1.45. The 
party isn't until 1.30. Tempted to go get a snack. Let's see what's around here. Guys, you know he's lying. I seem like I'm hating. Oh, there's his axe face. This is before the party. This is so cute. I can't even remember when I used to go here. Like, I was this small. Oh, ah! Look at him. <laughs> He's like, what did I do? I'm just eating. Yeah, I'm just eating. Your family, thank you so much for having him here with us. Let's all celebrate this beautiful star by seeing a twinkle, twinkle. Let me see your twinklers. We're going to give him some good luck and blessings for the remainder of his life. Let's sing. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, You're fine. little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky, our twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Happy birthday, Mr. Wonderful. Yay! Yay. Okay, we're going to have Fox Furby's Barbecue while I'm already here. And there's 13 of us coming. So I'm just waiting at the bar. It sounds so good. I've actually never been here before. So yeah, I just made it home. I am sleepy. Chloe is begging for attention. So I'm going to go spend some time with her for a bit. Chloe, get away from the package. It's soaking wet. Come here. Gonna edit this video, watch a movie, and then go to bed because I'm going to brunch tomorrow. I can't wait until Monday so I can just relax. <laughs> oh, darn it, I have to work out tomorrow. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I had so much fun. The birthday was so cute. I think my nephew had a great time. I can't wait to see him in his little night's tent. That is just going to be so cute. Um, he and his little friends had so much fun. So that was nice to see them there. But I definitely felt like that fancy aunt that doesn't have any kids who just shows up. And I felt out of place. But it was fun. Definitely a good time. So I'm going to stop vlogging. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.